G'day guys, I got a bit of a different video for you, but no one I've seen has been talking about it, so I figured I might as well. Um, basically, I don't know if you've seen, but Trump's done a complete 180 on his stance on Bitcoin. He's gone from hating it, thinking it's a scam, to now he wants every Bitcoin mined in the US. Basically, is what he's saying is he wants the US to become a crypto powerhouse. So he wants all of the crypto to be mined in the US. Um, and personally, I don't know about you, but to me, this sounds a little bit suspicious. And I know Trump's a guy that likes his money. Um, and if you were to ask me, my bet is that Trump has suddenly put a lot of his money into crypto and wants the price to go up. Because if it goes up, suddenly Trump's bank account will go up and it'll be in a crypto that's not tied to his name. So he won't pay taxes on it and no one will know. Now, I don't know this. No one said this, but I know Trump's not a silly fella. And if I was in Trump's position, I know what I would be doing with that type of power. Anyway, so the, the reason why I'm making this video now is because basically we have the first presidential debate coming up tomorrow. And with that, this is going to be Trump's chance, even if he doesn't get to be president. Now, this, this isn't my stance on the man. I don't particularly like him. Well, I'm, I'm not American, so I don't really care who is actually the president in America. But my point is a lot of people do care about Trump and they're going to care what he has to say. And if he comes onto this debate and mentions anything about crypto, suddenly you're going to have a whole heap of people that, you know, are right wing not necessarily technologically inclined and suddenly their leader is preaching about a cryptocurrency and that it's the future they're going to want to jump in it and if the demand is high and the supply remains the same we know that the price must skyrocket so i bet you that that is exactly what he's counting on a couple of people are even counting on hopefully they'll bring it up as a question for the debate because we know that Joe Biden, from his from the things that he said, he's not a huge fan of crypto. In fact, he doesn't like it. But um, I don't think I don't think in a debate against Trump, Biden's going to be able to, to hold his own particularly well. So I don't know if it'll be a necessarily good stance for them to have. But <clears throat> if you guys have been paying attention to crypto, then you guys would have seen that recently there was an ETF spot, a spot ETF for Ethereum. Here, I'll find it for you. Yes, so re recently the Ethereum has approved a spot ETF and its price has gone like this. Sorry, boom. In one day it jumped like 20%. And that's all because suddenly the market adopted Ethereum and started started looking favorably upon it. So Mar Ethereum at the moment is the second biggest market cap of any coin. So we can have a look at actually the market caps of each coin. We can see Bitcoin's first with a market cap, so a total value of 1.2 billion. Um, Ethereum's underneath it with a market cap of 404 billion. So we can see that Ethereum's being used. Whether or not you think Ethereum's the future or not, it's being used and it's going to keep being used into the future because it's it's got a long lead on every other coin. So because of that, we can we can have a look at you know well what's going to happen in the future? How can we you know predict the future and make some money off it? Well, one of the things with Ethereum that's becoming a problem is that there are these things called roll-ups. Now, Ethereum roll-ups, basically the way that they're done is it, I won't get into the full details, but it has to do with the way that the blockchains get written and the way that, you know, how many transactions can actually get written into a blockchain and thus how many transactions can actually occur. Um, and basically roll-ups sort of take these transactions off the main chain and they move them out and they do them separately and then relay that information back to the main chain. The problem with this is it's causing a fragmentation of the Ethereum system. Basically, all the different coins and all the liquidity is being split up and divvied between heaps of different roll-ups and no one really knows what the future of Ethereum is going to be and how they're actually going to solve this roll-up problem. So there's there's been a couple different coins, you know, that there's... There's, um, a th here we go, there's Arbitrum, Optimism, po Polygon, all these things, they, they solve it with their own roll-up technology. There's zero knowledge and optimistic chain preferences and all these different things on, you know, they have advantages, disadvantages, they all vary depending on who you ask and what you're actually trying to accomplish. But 
What I've noticed recently is that, so there's been the crash in crypto. We have this debate coming up. And if he says anything, and more importantly, even, you know, if he does become president, we can expect huge growth because I, I have a feeling that's going to be beneficial and in his own interests. But I was doing my scaring, having a look around and having a look at some of the new cryptos that are popping up because we can see with a Bitcoin with a market cap of, you know, 1.4 trillion, 1.2 trillion, whatever it was, we can't really expect that to go a hundred times because, you know, if the value of a Bitcoin were to go up a hundred times, that would mean the market cap would go up a hundred times and suddenly Bitcoin becomes one of the most valuable assets on the planet, you know, more worth it than some countries, more worth it than the US probably at that point. So <clears throat> basically what we're looking at is we need something that's going to solve these problems and can play with the big boys. And I've noticed this, this is the Omni network. Now looking into the Omni network and having a look at how they actually do it is they are another coin that is based off Ethereum and they want to solve this fragmentation problem. So the way that they're doing it is completely different to Optimism, Polygon, Matic, all these other things. They're doing it a completely different way. They're actually going about with basically unifying the liquidity pools and putting all the rollups into one group together so that all the rollups can share the liquidity and basically work a lot more effectively and reduce the load on the network. Now, personally, I don't know if that's the future of Ethereum. I don't know if that's the best way to go and I don't know what, what the future is. I'm not going to say that I am a, you know, I'm a future teller. But what I do know is that if we have a look at the market cap of these coins of, here we go, so here's Matic, that's the one they're talking about. It's got a market cap of 5.3 billion. Uh, Arbitrum, this is the other one they're talking about, a market cap of 2.6 billion. So Omni, if we come and have a look at Omni, it has got a market cap of 133 billion million. This means that, you know, we could easily, easily see a 10 times increase and it still wouldn't even be at the level of Arbitrum. So if you were to go and, you know, buy a hundred dollars worth of Omni and it were to go up to that one, one billion dollar market cap, which really is quite reasonable, that's not even becoming the leader in the Ethereum roll-up technology, that's just becoming a player then these guys are going to suddenly give you 10x your money. And combined with the fact that I think crypto's, crypto is about to rally in one of its biggest booms ever, purely because, you know, we have other parties that are going to be interested, then this this is what I think is going to be, you know, the next big money maker for you guys. So I, I this isn't financial advice. I don't want to tell you guys what to do with your money. And I want you to guys to know that this is incredibly high risk. We can, it, it's the same with any crypto betting. Betting, it's essentially betting. It's not investing. People call it investing, but no one has any idea. It's basically educated betting. So this isn't fin financial advice. I'm not telling you guys what to do, but I'm telling you guys what I'm doing. This is certainly what I'm going to do with my money. Um, I've, I've bought a bag of Omni. I've also made sure I've chucked a good bit into Bitcoin and Ethereum, but I've, I've mainly put my money into Omni because I think this, this is going to be really what pays off. Uh, if, if you guys were wondering, you know, how do I manage to fund my gambling addiction? How do I manage to actually do all these strategies and put money in and show you guys my roulette strategies and things like this? This is the answer. So if you guys want to be like me, if you guys, you know, want to have a have a chance at, you know, getting getting a little bit of that financial independence, getting a bit of that financial freedom so you can you can afford to, you know, play blackjack and roulette whenever you feel like it. Then now if you are actually looking to buy Omni yourself, I'll leave a link for you down below. I'm not actually sure how many exchanges it's really on, but I've just seen it pop up on this one that I'm using, so I figured I would show you guys and make sure I told you guys about this, you know, huge, exciting opportunity. But anyway, I wish you guys the best of luck and I'll see you next time. Peace.